Close your eyes and imagine this. You are at the bustling airport, the home of chatter and the smell of jet fuel in the air. There is a flurry of excitement and a sense of anticipation that's almost tangible. Your heart flutters with every step you take towards the boarding gate. But this is not just another holiday or a modern business trip. This journey is special, a life-changing chapter waiting to unfold. You are traveling to Canada as a student and all of it is set to happen in just three months. Let's walk this path together and make your transition as smooth as possible. If Canada is your castle, then the study permit is your key. It's the vital document every international student needs to unlock their dream of studying in Canada. The process might seem daunting, but don't worry, we are here to guide you through every step of the way. Even if you are from Nigeria, the process remains the same. You have two options to apply for this visa, online or on paper. Both methods come with their own set of steps to follow. If you are opting for the paper application, you will have to visit a visa application center in Nigeria to submit your documents. The officers there will guide you through the process and they will take your biometrics. This means they will record your fingerprints and photograph as an additional measure of identification. Keep in mind that you may also have to attend a visa interview based on your application. Let's delve into some numbers now. The application for student permit will set you back by 150 Canadian dollars, which is 630 Naira in the black market as of today. You will need to pay 85 Canadian dollars for the collection of your biometrics. An essential part of the process includes a medical exam that you will need to travel to London, UK for. So don't forget to factor those travel costs. It might seem like a lot, but every penny you spend is an investment in your future. It's time to talk about paperwork. One of the most crucial aspects of your application, the Canadian authorities need to be sure you have the means to support yourself during your study program. How do you show them that? By providing a proof of funds. The Canadian government estimates that you will need about 833 Canadian dollars per month or for your living expenses or 1,095 Canadian dollars per month if you plan on studying in Quebec. Now let's address the language requirements. Canada is a bilingual country with English and French as its official languages. But here is some good news. As a Nigerian student, you do not need to prove your proficiency in English to study in Canada. So as long as you are comfortable using English for your daily activities and your studies, you are good to go. Your student visa is typically valid for the length of your course plus an additional three months. If you are planning on staying in Canada after your studies, you will need to apply for a different visa or get current visa renewed. Here are some caveats. You have to have a passport valid at least one year, counting from your commencement of your studies. Getting passport in Nigeria can take way more than three months. You will need to have all the necessary funds you need in your account six months to the time you apply for your visa slash study permit. Remember that the clock is ticking. Three months might seem a lot of time, but when it comes to preparing for a major life event like moving to a different country for studies, it will fly by quickly than you think. The time to start is now. Every step from this point will bring you closer to your dream of studying in Canada. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.